24 minutes in the books down at the AAA in Miami, and it's been all heat over the Celtics in the first half. 61 to 43 is the Miami lead as they attempt to snap the Celtics' four-game winning streak. The uh, Celtics coming in as the only team unbeaten in the new year at 4-0. and oh, But, man, they are having it handed to them here in the first half. Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith, Charles Barkley, Shaquille O'Neal, American Express Halftime Report. You know, Chuck, we started this night talking about uh, the Celtics and whether you, whether, I, in fact, I asked you, have they got it figured out now that they've gone 15 and 5 over the last 20 games? And you said no. A resounding no, because I don't know what, kind of, what type of team they are. Um, I really don't. I don't think they know who their go to guys are. Kyrie, big first half, 17 points. And they're down 20. Yeah. That's not good. Uh, I think uh, I think that if the Celtics are going to win the Eastern Conference, I think they got to make a trade. Uh, I just think they got too much offensive talent. Uh, I don't think they got players who you can't say because Ernie, you have to have uh, garbage. Not, garbage not the right word. You have to have role players. I think guys who do the dirty work. They don't have uh, Marcus Smart is like that. Um, that's pretty much Al it. Alford. Al Harper's not like that. Al Harper's a guy who wants to get points and rebounds. Like well, he's, rebounds is part of dirty work, isn't it? That's fair. But I'm saying I don't think they have enough dirty work guys. And they're not going to win the way they currently constructed. I said before the season, it looks really good on paper. But they have, they need some dirty work players. And I think, and I think honestly, no disrespect, they got a lot of talent, a lot of really good players. But only one guy on that team does dirty work. Smart and maybe Al Horford. Number two in defensive rating are the Boston Celtics, but they give up 61 <sighs> in the first half. Shaq, what'd you see? I'd rather have a whole bunch of offensive players and guys that play adequate to good defense. Right now, they're not really playing good defense. They're giving up too many points in the paint. Ooh, my right here, the shot goes up. You got four Celtics right there. Well, we got to get that and rebound then. Nope, Chuck's favorite player, Whiteside, is going to get the rebound oh, and put wow. it back. Right here, basic pick and roll, not paying attention. Haywood cuts right Oh, we got four in the paint. Easy, easy <laughs> bucket right there in the paint. So, you know, we're talking about offense and who's going to get the shots, who's going to do this, who's going to do that. We need these guys to play defense. But that's my point, right Shaq. Too. These guys don't play defense. They don't have a shot. See, uh, Shaq, but that actually helps my argument. All, when they, they got all these good players and they all want to score. And, and that's not a negative, but they're not making that transition where they're like, okay, I'm not going to score tonight. They got to make a stop. They got to get stopped. But they don't have guys like they have guys who terrific. Like Jalen Brown could be an all star. Jason Taylor can be an all star. Kyrie's been an all star. Gordon Haywood's been an all star. Al Horford's been an all star. But you don't look at any of those guys and say, well, they're a defensive stopper and they content doing that. Yeah, I, I would agree that when you said what type of team they are, what type of team they should be is a, a ball movement team. The ball should be pinging around kind of what Golden State does, even though they have a lot of guys who score. But to me, I would, I would give liberty to Kyrie to have more than four dribbles. That was how I would do it. But the second part about it is, on the defensive end, they are great defensively on the perimeter. They could stay in front of you. But what is missing from that team defensively is a defense intimidator blocking shots. Smart's the only one. Oh, there's, yeah, there, there's no, there's no, like Lakers, JaVale McGee. There's no one back there that really makes you alter your shot once you do get into the paint. That will, will separate them if they got a loony or someone like that yes. that just changes the trajectory of your uh, shot uh, and it, makes you it, think about another pass. There, there's not like, on all teams, like I had a Mark West. Would make you think who, about changing But, but was it who could go the whole game and not get a shot. And but he was, affects the game. And, and going to affect the game but not, not complain and yeah. not pout. Yeah. You have to have guys like that. Uh, you, you look at what, what, like, like the Warriors. Uh, like, Draymond is a great defender, and he, he's content to play great defense and rebound the ball. Last year, they had David West. They had JaVale McGee, Josh Apatui, all those guys. Because those three guys going to get all the shots. And with the Celtics, those guys, I told you, coming into the season, Taylor and Brown wasn't going to say, hey, Kyrie and Gordon, y'all take all the shots. Because they think they're better players than that. Still uh, the second half to go. Yeah, the American Express teammates from the first half, uh, they come from the Miami side, obviously, when you outscore team 61-43. to 43. Josh Richardson with 10, Dwayne Wade with 7 on 3 of 5 shooting. Uh, 
to the point that Shaq was making points in the paint. 28 to 12 Miami wow. with the advantage over the Celtics in the no first rim protectors. 24 minutes. Back with more on the American no Express report.